Hola, hello everyone. Welcome to today's Doga Flow with us. Me, Pablito, and La Nina. She's at the corner. It's too hot for her. Maybe you'll see her later. Right, Pablito? Um, even though it's like late afternoon, it's sun setting here, but it's super hot still. And today's flow is a sun setting flow. I mean, literally the sun is setting very late here. So anyway, I am just going to wind down. It's late Sunday afternoon. You know, like you're going to start a whole week ahead of you. So you need some kind of wind down for a very good rest before the hectic week starts. All right, so I hope you enjoy with us on my beautiful terrace. I mean, I find this shade here, you know, it's like just still too hot to be doing any sort of movement in the sun right now. I mean, in the shadow it's really good, but in the sun it's still super duper hot. <laughs> Look at him. All right, so let's get started, shall we? <laughs> okay, so let's kneel down at the back of our mat. We'll come into a child's pose. Arms extended out in front of us. And bring your forehead down to the mat. Big inhale in through the nose and exhale throughout the mouth. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, making this hum, you know, humming sound. It's really good for our nerve systems. Inhale in, exhale. And slowly tuck your chin into your chest and like print down your fingertips into the mat and like grab the mat and bring your upper body into a cat shape and bring your shoulders over your wrist over over kind of like bring your hips down to the mat and tuck your tailbone up bring it back to heels or just move a little bit spinal wave movement like this <laughs> you can also wagging the tails when you go over Give me back. Just feel good by yourself, you know. You don't really have any rule for this kind of wave. Just enjoy how you are, how you move. <sighs> Once you are ready, welcome into center and bring the right, um, right foot in between your thumbs. Very gently, just bring it into the chest and bring it in through between the thumbs. Lift yourself up, crescent low lunge, gaze forward, lift your arms up, dip your hips down, low lunge pose. We'll stay here, take a big inhale. Exhale, we'll swing the hand back and we'll come into a half split pose, but keep your arms in the air. Like it's kind of also a balancing pose. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, swing it back. A couple, a couple more times like this. At your own pace, inhale. And exhale. Swing it back, like giving out the negative energy and swing it forward in. Oh, and bring the hands down. 
firmly press into the mat through your left hand, and we'll just turn our body to face the right. Push, kind of push the knee a little bit to the side, and just try to gaze back. If your flexibility allows, bend your left knee, bring the foot into your hand, and try to reach it. And when the hand touches the foot, just kick each other like pull, and use the arm to pull it over towards you and kick, kick through the foot, like bring your hand away from you. And revolved low lunge, hand up, right hand up. Tuck your left toe and lift your left knee. Take a big inhale in, exhale. We'll just swing the arms a few rounds, right? The last round, kind of bring your upper torso to lift it up with the movement of the arms. High lunge, warrior two. Open up to the side. Swing your arms down, downward facing dog. Oh, walk out the dogs. We just bend one knee at a time. <sighs> We'll come down onto our knees. Hello there, <laughs> and just wave back and forth like how we started. I think they kind of want to go into the aircon room. Who doesn't? <laughs> But then they really want to also go out with me time to time. I think it's better for them to be here in the shadow with me. <laughs> oh, so good! All right, let's bring the left foot in between the hands. Lift the cho shoulder up, chest open, crescent low lunge, gaze forward. <sighs> Feel the stretch on the inner growing. Oh, so good. Just gentle lift your upper body up. Low lunge pose. Oh. I feel runs of half split between low lunge and half split will just throw the negative energy out of us. Inhale, exhale, swing it back. Bring the toes to face your your face. In and out. Last time in and bring the hands down. Firmly print through your right hand into the mat. We'll just face the left side. Open the knee a little bit. If you can, you can try to hold your right foot and bring it closer to your body and kick it back. Into the hand, so you'll feel this counter forces between your hand and your foot, and bring the foot down gently. We'll tap the right toes, lift the right knee up, and revolved low lunge, revolved lunge pose, and swing the arms a few rounds. Throughout the mouth, and bring kind of like swing your arm all the way into the air and lift your upper body up. High lunge. Mm. Warrior two to the right side. Swing your arms down, downward facing dog. Walk out the dogs.
Yeah, are you hot, Papa? And gently walk yourself to the top of the mat. Take your time, little by little. We'll just come into a forward fold. Swing your hips side to side and hang your neck, hang your head down. Relax your upper body, like kind of letting the gravity pull it down. Feel the stretching on the hamstrings. And keep the knees micro bent and gently roll yourself up to standing. All right, perfect. Ah,、oh, sweating. <laughs> It's also kind of like a hot yoga. <laughs> All right, so now we are coming into a standing pose. Just settling here. Feel the opening. Feel the opening already. You know, like、um, your lower body.、So、we'll just do a little bit of um, um, balance poses. Oh well, actually, for the following. Uh, sequence. It's advice. Advisable that you bring two yoga blocks or something that can elevate the floor closer to your face. I'm just. I'm just gonna grab my yoga blocks. One minute. Rapido. <laughs> I let her stay with me. <laughs> okay, so now we have the two yoga blocks. Actually, I forgot to bring them out. I brought them with me, but I forgot to bring them out. Okay, now we are in standing. Take a big breath in and out. Wow. And bring our weight onto our right foot and lift the left knee into the chest. Kind of like hold the chest in、uh, the knee into the chest, while keeping your body like straight, spine tall. Roll the ankles a few times to the right, a few times to the left, and lift your arms up. Keep the knees lifted. If you can, if you want, if you want to challenge yourself, kick your left leg、uh, foot all the way out while keeping in this balance pose. Take one round of breaths in and out. We、we'll、just transition into a warrior three. Here, the blocks are really good. Okay, so we、we'll、just bring them down onto our down to our face. And just lift, square off the、uh, the hips, facing forward, and kick through the left heel all the way back. One long line of energy between the crown of your head till the heel of your left foot, and from here we'll come, we'll lift our right hand up, kind of like this. We do normally in. A tabletop pose. Keep it lifted, 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 extended, and we'll just come into a pyramid pose. Bring the left foot down behind us and bend the right knee. And you can bring the two blocks closer to you, or you can leave them there. Just bring the hands towards the mat. We'll come into a pyramid. Pyramid pose. Your left foot is at forty degrees angle towards the left side of the room. Inhale, lengthen the spine, half lifting. So bring it down a little bit deeper. Settle in this pose. Feel your hips, feel your hamstring,、mm. and now from here, we'll just challenge ourselves a little more. 
Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale. Bring one of the blocks on the outside of your right foot. Place it here, and we'll just twist our body to the right to face the right. Press through the block through our left hand, and bring our right hand on the hips. We're just facing the right side, kind of twisting. Revolved triangle, and if you can. It's a little bit shaky for me, so we'll just adjust. It's okay, you know, if you are just shaking around, it's totally fine. <laughs> twist, 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 and you can lift your right arm up. And exhale, bring the right hand down. Move the block away. We'll just come into a downward facing dog. Feel the difference between the two legs. You know, it's a still a little bit challenging, not a totally relaxing flow as as it is the sunset. But you know, like it re involves a lot of stretching, a lot of big inhales and exhales. So we、we'll、just turn on our relaxing, you know, like the nerve system, the relaxing mode in our nerve system. <sighs> Gently walk towards the top of our mat. We'll come into a forward fold again. Then go here. Close your eyes. Feel into your body. Take a moment just to shake all the negative energy out of you. Not shake, just fold it out as 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 we're folding, and then gently come into a standing pose. Hmm. Eyes continue shut. Okay. You can even take a big breath in. Lift your arms up. Face follow or gaze follow, and bring hands together at heart center. It's not necessary, but I just feel like doing so. So now we'll just bring the weight onto our left foot. Bring the right knee into the chest. Hold it. A few rounds of ankle rolls to the right, to the left. Ooh. I realize that in summer, 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 there are not even so many birds out here because normally when I do a yoga flow, I hear a lot of birds. But now in these hot summer days, I think the birds don't even. Flying around, <laughs> fly around, and burping around, beeping around, kind of miss their sound. All right, so hands up, inhale. Um, I'll just bring myself a little bit back so I can kick my right leg out. And transition into a war. <laughs> It's okay. A warrior three pose. Bring the hands down onto the block. <sighs> Square off the hips. Kick through the right heel. <sighs> Lift the left hand up and pointing it towards the. Front of our room, kind of like touching the wall in front of me. And from here, inhale and exhale. Bring the right foot back, forty-five degrees angle towards the right. I just like making my mat a little bit better. <laughs> we'll come into a pyramid pose. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall deeper into your left knee.
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the hands down and bring the left foot to meet the right. Downward facing dog. I walk a little bit up into the front side. You stay where you are. <sighs> now feel into this downward facing. <laughs> Just bring the chest towards the side and reach the tailbone into the sky. Try to reach your heel towards the mat. <sighs> lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Take a big inhale, lift the right leg up. Three leg downward facing dog. Pointing, pointing, pointing. And open up the hip, bend the knee, open the hip towards the right side. A few rounds with a knee circle to the right and to the left. <laughs> open up the hips. It's very good. Then reach the right leg all the way back and bring it all the way in round the back. And bring it underneath your gaze. We'll come into this wide leg fold fold. <sighs> what is this? <laughs> oh. No, actually, I'm gonna do uh, face the camera. You will just stay where you are. <sighs> And then we'll come to the right side, Skandasana, bend the right knee, heel off the mat or heel down on the mat. It doesn't really matter as long as you squat down on your right side and open the left toe towards the sky. Open, like externally rotate the left leg and spine tall, right elbow inside the right knee. Open the left hand, the left arm towards the sky. Mm. Oh, so good, really. Yeah, we'll transition onto other sides, Gandhasana on the left side. Mm. Yeah. Open towards the right side. And then we'll come to face the back of our mat. Since I just did a turn, so I'm still facing the front, but you'll be facing on your on your back of the mat. And lift the left leg all the way up. Three leg dog. Lift, lift, lift and point. And open up the hips. A few rounds, knee circles. To the right. Oh, now it's really windy. It's actually really cool. To the left. And square off the hips. Bring the left foot to meet the right. One last time, downward facing dog, and bring the knees down. Come into a child's pose. <clears throat> Five rounds of breath here. Settle down, wind down, and cool down. Feel into yourself and make humming sound when you breath out. Feel the vibration of this humming sound you're making. It vibrates 
together with the environment around us. You know, our doggies, our cats, the plants, the trees, the wind, the bell sound. It all vibrates together. It's perfect with the bell sound, kind of like really calm us down, you know. And now reach the hands all the way in front of us. We'll come into a spring springs pose. Dip your hips down. We'll come into a onto our fore uh forehand, forearm, Not forehand, forearm. Mind with mind my English. It's not that good. Okay, so ninety degrees angle of your elbow and to your shoulder. Collarbone, collarbones widened. Heart opening through the chest. Open the throat towards the sky. Oh, gaze up or gaze closed. It's also a slight back bend here. So we ought to do a few rounds of cat and cow in this spring's pose. That's a little creative. Let's play. Why not? Take a big inhale, exhale, run. Uh, keep the knees on the floor, and kind of like round your upper back, your back into a cat. Inhale, open. Exhale, run, run, run. Chain tuck into the chest. Inhale, open again. And exhale. Run, run, run. Mm. Now we'll relax our body. Totally on our front side, just open arms into a T shape, and we'll do some shoulder stretch. Oh, the floor is really hot, by the way. Okay, so oh, we will not totally rest my arm on the floor because it's still burning, but you can if you are doing it indoor. We we'll just extend our right arm all the way、um, to the side like a T shape. And bend the left knee and push through the left hand. No, actually, I'll do the other side first. Extend the left hand all the way out and bend the right knee and bring the right hand next to your chest and push it down and bring your torso all the way to flip over to the right. Your right. At the back of your mat, and your right hand. Try to touch your left. I know most of you cannot do that. You know your shoulder blades are too tight to pinch together. But for those of you who can, you can even interlace your hands behind you and feel this stretch a little bit more intense. Otherwise, you can just keep your right hand here in front of you. For a little bit of assistance, and flip over. We'll do it on the other side. Oh, so so good. You know this shoulder stretch. We send our right hand out. And push yourself all the way towards left. I'll show you how I touch my left hand, reach my left hand to the right. Ah, finally, they meet each other. Ah, interlace like lover. Ha! Ah, so good. Let's show the stretch.
and come to center. We'll slip ourselves onto our back. <laughs> Don't have to do it gracefully, you know. However you want, we'll just come onto our back. <sighs> Are you seeing the sky? So cool, the blue sky above me. Bring the knees into the chest. We'll just a bit, a few rounds of roll with the knees towards the left, like anti-clockwise. Also, good way to massage our lower back. A few rounds clockwise. I feel I mingle with the wind. <laughs> so good. Yeah. And we'll do a little bit of spinal twist before we finish our flow. Bring the knees into center. Arms, cactus, or in a T shape. And bring the both knees onto our left side of the mat. And maintaining your upper body facing the sky or your gaze towards the right. And make sure your right shoulder don't uh, doesn't go off the mat when you do this twist. So we just twist at belly button level. Left hand on the right knee for a little bit more support, pressing it down. And then bring it to center. Adjusting your hip. <laughs> Make sure it's center. And bring it to the right. Oh. Left shoulder on mat. Right hand on top of the knee, just for a little bit more pressure, gravity. Hmm. It's perfect that if you want to do a shavasana after this flow, it's totally recommendable. It's perfect to fall asleep after a chill sunset. Um, I want to say this word, uh, winding, um, like just a very chill winding flow. Like yeah, right. Sometimes I think my English is getting worse. <laughs> we'll come back to center and then bring the soles of the feet together. Supta Baddha Konasana. We climb the butterfly, keep the knees out and open the soles with each other. Bring one hand on heart, one hand on belly. We just close our eyes. If you, you know, if you feel like your lower back is not totally on the ground, you can also bring the feet a little bit away from your hips so that your lower back can be on the mat. It's a little bit more grounding and protecting on the lower back. We'll just stay here for a few rounds of final Resting breath, not final, I mean final breath for this flow, because we are going to finish it. This is the last asana. Just relax your body, relax your mind. Don't think about the heavy week ahead of us. Just enjoy this moment and let your body go with the wind with whatever environment you're at. Let it mingle. Mm. If you have a doggy, 
ask him or her to come next to you so you can have a little doggy nap. Doga nap with them. <laughs> That's what I always do with my doggies. Like after a flow, I'll just take a nap with them. <laughs> On my mat and they're like next to me. It feels so good, you know, to have your doggies with you when you do your flow and after your flow they're just sleeping next to you so sweet hmm. gently bring the knees to meet each other and We'll just come to sleep on our left side or right side, which side ever is good for you. <sighs> like a fetal. Fetus. It's a fetal pose, but it's like a fetus. And press yourself up. <laughs> or if you would like, to pause the video and continue sleeping. Hello, hello. This is La Nina. Huh? Isn't she beautiful? She's with me the whole time when I was doing my yoga. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we'll just take a last breath, okay? Last breath in. I keep saying the last, the final. Oh my God, mind this world. Don't mind this world. Take a breath in. Arms lifted. And bring it to heart center. Bow down to yourself. Just thank yourself. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with us for this another wonderful, beautiful Doga, Sunset Doga flow. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy this flow as always. Um, yeah. I don't want to talk so much anymore. I mean, I've been talking and talking. <laughs> anyway, so... I'll see you in the next flow. Have a good Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever day. And have a good rest. See you in the next flow. Bye.